Hi, my name is Peter Oakes from the breadboard.ca and I'd like to introduce to you today the new Panel Pilot Ace SGD43A from Lascar Electronics. The Panel Pilot Ace SGD43A is a new hardware and software platform brought to you by Lascar Electronics and distributed through Iris Components and Allied Electronics across the world. The platform allows rapid design and development of user interfaces and panel meters with easy upload to the hardware for use in a number of different environments. The Panel Pilot ACE SGD43A is the combination of a multifunction touchscreen color display and simple drag and drop design studio software that removes the need for any coding resulting in significant reduction of development time for even the most advanced displays. The back of the Panel Pilot ACE SGD43A features multiple standard inputs using 0.1 inch connectors or screw terminals. These feature the I inputs, outputs and communications interfaces providing the flexibility for users to implement the measurement of display and analog digital and bus inputs as well as control of analog PWM outputs and alarms. All of these interfaces can be easily linked to the display elements and controls by utilizing advanced logic capabilities. Users can configure triggers for visual cues, alarm outputs, or other actions, all without the need for any coding. The Panel Pilot ACE SGD43A is designed to be panel mounted, making it easy to integrate into any range of industrial or commercial manufacturing applications and processes, but is easily adapted for many other uses. The Panel Pilot comes with integrated tabs for a friction fit into a panel or can be mounted by using the included bracket which clips onto the back of the panel and uses four grub screws to create a firm fixture. There is also an included gasket that will provide protection against the elements in more harsh environment. These additional mounting parts can be found in the back of the box that the panel meter came in. You just have to remove the inserts and look underneath the plastic that's inside the box to find them. The free to download Windows 8 compatible Panel Pilot ACE Design Studio software provides all of the building blocks necessary to allow the users to easily add elements to their existing user interfaces or panel meter projects from realistic looking analog and digital display style meters, touchscreen navigation and background images and text elements users can rapidly build up sophisticated multi-screen interfaces without needing to write a single line of code. The Panel Pilot ACE Design Studio software allows users to create and import their own elements to allow plenty of scope for creativity and enabling the display to be tailored to almost any industrial or commercial application. The software supports JPEG, PNGs, TIFFs, GIFs and also animated GIFs limited only by your creativity and the size of the screen. Extended functionality can be added to any user interfaces or panel meter through the use of easy to use logic statements that can manipulate the display's elements and the physical electrical interfaces. This logic allows basic through to advanced functionality to conf be configured as needed. The design studio includes a panel pilot ACE emulator that allows the user to preview and test designs and functionality without the panel pilot ACE hardware being present. This is a handy feature for users wanting to perform initial evaluation of the device prior to purchase or being deployed in the field. It allows complete testing of your design and user interface without actually being connected to the hardware. Once a project is complete, it can be easily uploaded to the Panel Pilot ACE SGD43A by simply clicking the upload button and waiting a few seconds. Software will upload quickly, restart the Panel Pilot ACE and your new UI display will be available for you to use with your own hardware. And there it is, done. The Panel Pilot ACE SGD43A features include the following. A 4.3 inch 480 by 272 pixel display with 262,000 colors available and capacitive touch capability. The screen is also capable of working in landscape or portrait orientation depending on your application. Features include four analog to digital conversion channels with plus or minus 40 volts DC input or a 40 20 milliamp loop if so required. These can also be scaled to support different voltage ranges, for instance, plus or minus 10, uh, 0 to 5 volts, or any other range in between plus or minus 40 volts. The panel meter also features two alarm outputs that are open collector transistor and can sync up to 10 milliamps. There are eight digital I.O. channels available to this panel meter, 
their 3.3 volt LED logic levels and can sync 9 milliamps or source up to 11 milliamps, allowing quite a range of interfacing to external devices. For analog outputs, there is four PWM channels available. These are 256 bit in resolution and with the addition of a couple of simple components can either provide a linear analog out or a pulse width modulated output to drive things like LED displays um, or buzzers and various other devices depending on the requirements of the application that you're developing. Mounting the panel pilot ACE couldn't be easier. A cutout of 117 by 78 millimeters and simple mounting bracket either pushed through with friction connection using the built-in tabs or by utilizing the rear clip adapter with four grub screws to provide a secure fastening. The brains inside the panel pilot ACE display is provided by a Freescale IMX283 processor running at 454 MHz. This is a 32-bit ARM9 CPU and it comes with 1 gigabit of RAM and a 2 gigabit SD card for expansion and your applications to be deployed upon. It also runs an embedded Linux operating system. Powering the Panel Pilot Ace couldn't be simpler. It supports both a USB interface with 5 volts, of course, and a 5 to 30 volt input via two screw terminals. When programming the Panel Pilot Ace, only the USB connection to the PC is required, and this will both provide the power as well as the programming interface for uploading your applications and displays. Included in the box with the Panel Pilot Ace display is a rear mounting bracket for mounting into the panel cutout that you would have to create for your applications. A gasket that will be on the front of the panel behind the Panel Pilot Ace itself providing a certain level of protection against the environment. A what's in the box leaflet which tells you what is included with the Panel Pilot Ace and a thank you leaflet a development kit, the SGD43A DK, is available also for the Panel Pilot Ace that allows users who would like to perform testing and development with the Panel Pilot Ace in a lab or in a workshop. The kit includes a Panel Pilot Ace itself, the display, the board, which features a, all of the I.O. and LED indicators and everything necessary for testing the Panel Pilot Ace six standoff connectors which I've already connected three onto the board here allowing you to raise it off of the bench and getting easy access to the rear USB panel through the hole on the board and you also get an included USB cable. The panels come with an application installed by default that allows you to test the display and touch features with two of the analog input. When you power the panel up for the first time this would be the screen that you would see and by simply rotating these dials when it is plugged into the development board you can see that the analog needle here is quite quickly responding to my changes of input and if I rotate the input to adjustment analog potentiometer the bar graph over the top here is responding quite nicely. The other feature that's built into the default application is being able to turn off the background display and reversing it to white which I find easier to read from a bit of a distance and different angles and also to turn on and off the effects. A simple application example that I quickly put together in probably less than 15 minutes with the Panel Pilot Ace would be a temperature monitor that is monitoring an analog input uh, connected to potentially a thermistor or other temperature probe and you can monitor the temperature input and display it quite clearly on either an analog or a digital display as I'm doing here and also by using these touch controls that I've put on here that are from a custom uh, library I brought in I'm able to increase and decrease an analog output value that is being reflected on the PWM channels. This is all just taken about 15 minutes to put together and quickly uploaded and I now have a functioning user interface here for simple temperature control. So that completes the overview of the Panel Pilot Ace SDG43A display. What we've seen is that it is a very flexible and user customizable display that allows several inputs and outputs to be configured to suit your own application. But who would want to use this display? Well, Anybody that has any old legacy analog displays that are maybe broken or require upgrading and want to have additional features of being able to turn on and off alarms or buzzers and things like that, this could easily be integrated into an existing panel 
where you would just remove the old displays, expand the cutout to suit the size of this meter and simply place it in there, connect up your analog inputs and some outputs to the relays, enunciators or buzzers and away you go. A little bit of software um, development, no coding, just drag and drop through the developer studio and you'll be up and running in no time at all. This will be attractive to anybody in a various number of fields including commercial or industrial automation, uh, home automation where you could use it for temperature and humidity monitoring. You could also use it in an industrial setting where perhaps you're monitoring the flow of air or liquid or any other uh, kind of process where you would want to um, display the status of the process that's going on and be able to have it shown in a number of different formats whether that be as a more traditional analog meter or as a digital display or as something else. It's very easy to configure this to be able to do any of those. The other nice thing with all of these analog inputs and outputs is that you can put alarms on them so that if an analog input value goes over a certain threshold it could turn on a buzzer or flash a light or using the inbuilt logic capabilities could take some other action for instance lowering the value of the PWM output. In some cases the panel itself cannot be directly interfaced to the outside world. It only have 3.3 volt logic input and outputs and its analog inputs are not isolated from the internal microprocessor. So a small amount of interfacing circuitry may be required in order to connect to um, an industrial environment where maybe you're on a factory floor, there's a lot of noise and things like that. So you would have to provide some protection and potentially isolation of the signals in order to give this device some chance of surviving in that environment. This doesn't have to be complicated, it could be simply just some relays driven by some transistors or some analog isolator blocks that you would just put into the circuit to allow you to have extended range devices connected for instance thermocouples or resistance probes or flow meters where they would have 4 to 20 milliamp loops feeding through the plant back to the control center and the panel and you may want to just put an isolator in there so that you don't have the panel subject to any spurious noises coming from the outside environment. Because it has the digital input and outputs as well even though you can configure many buttons and many display panels on the actual display itself and just switch through them and use that to control your logic and your process you can also have the addition of external buttons easily connected to the digital inputs so that you can trigger other events and maybe raise and lower analog values that are controlling a PWM output for a fan or some kind of temperature bath or something like that. With the inclusion of a solid state relay you could probably drive directly from the I.O. through the solid state relay and control some high power devices. So where else could you use this panel? Well Really, it's limited to your own imagination. Medical research or monitoring devices, for instance, air pressure in a hospital or oxygen levels could easily be monitored through the use of a transducer feeding into the panel. Another example of simple interfacing for the panel meter would be as an information display in museums or public places. This could be mounted onto a wall just using the regular mounting kit that comes with it and could be used to provide an example of the weather that's currently happening outside. You could be using it to show directory of offices in a building and using the up and down arrow keys for instance to scroll through different displays to give an indication of where things are located. Even though I've tried to give you a good indication of some of the things that you can use this panel meter for, it's only limited to your imagination and your capabilities of connecting it to all sorts of sensor inputs and driver outputs to be able to pretty much adapt to any application that you would want to use it for. The limiting factors of it you know, with the logic levels are easily overcome with external circuitry and it would be very wrong of me to try and constrain with the examples that I've given as to the, as to the uses that you could apply this meter for. It's wide open really to the imagination and use. Its 4.3 inch display is quite adequate for a lot of applications including for instance adding into some kind of instrumentation like a programmable power supply where you could use the display to provide an indication of the output voltage and current, even show trending and logging capabilities and calculate the power output over time for um, the power supply or a load under test. As I say, it's 
completely open as far as what uses you could put this to. So in conclusion, I think I'd like to say that this is a very interesting device. It's new and I think it has a huge potential for use in all sorts of different um, industry, commercial applications and also in home automation. And it will be very interesting to watch this going forward and be able to use it and, and experiment with it. So that's it from me, Peter Oakes, thebreadboard.ca. And if you want to get one for yourself, then browse over to the nearest Radio Spares or Allied Electronics website. And if you just look up Panel Pilot Ace, you will find very quickly the information required, how to buy it and how to get it to yourself. Thank you.